Michelle here from Strawberry Designs, and today I'm going to show you how to make some cute little ornaments. You know how those painted palette parties and signs are such the rage right now? Well, how cute is this? Do it in miniature. So the first thing you're going to need to do is you're going to take some popsicle sticks and you're going to cut them to length. Now I used wire cutters, but pruning shears would probably work a little bit better. Use an emery board to sand the rough edges off. The next thing is you need to stain your wood, stain your popsicle sticks. So I used a Crayola marker and I just drew it on and then I wiped it off with a wet baby wipe. The next step is you take all of your popsicle sticks and you hot glue them with another little joining stick on the back and that will hold them all together to be like a little palette sign. And then you're just going to write your message on the front. You could use paint pens or a sharpie or a gel pen or actual paint or if you don't like your handwriting use one of those cool little Christmas stamps and just stamp it on. So the last step is just to glue some twine on the back and put, add a bow and you're done. And they're so cute. So this one says Merry Christmas. This one says Merry and Bright. I'm going to an ornament exchange party at my Aggie Moms Club. This is mothers of students who attend Texas A&M University. And one of the things A&M is known for is being the most friendliest campus in the United States. And one of the reasons they're friendly is because they say howdy all the time. And so this one, isn't that adorable? It's for the party and it says howdy on it. And then I also used a rubber stamp of Reveille, their mascot for this one. And I added the twine to the front. And I think that one just added a, a little extra special touch. When I was a kid, my mom would make ornaments, have all the kids make ornaments as we were growing up. And I passed that tradition on to my own children. We would make ornaments a lot of times. And I have a lot of memories on this tree behind me of different ornaments that we've made. What kind of ornaments have you made? And do you have traditions of making them with your family? Let me know in the comments below, please. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Comment, subscribe. That really helps my channel out. I'm really trying to get it to grow. And I appreciate you watching. Thanks so much. And until next time, have a great day crafting away.